Hi, my name is Leanne Reimel, Principal Admin Evangelist here at Salesforce. Did you know that you can use Flow Builder and standard components to make your own custom lightning components with no code? That's right. With the new Flow Builder and with the Flow standard component, you can build your own display components, image components to use throughout Salesforce. So let's take a look. Here on our Salesforce homepage, and we want to add an image to this homepage. Let's jump into setup and go to static resources. This is where we're going to upload the image that we want to add to our page. So we're going to call this candy beans. It's a picture of candy and we're adding that image. So you want to know what image you want to present on your page before you start this process. Once we've added our static resources, we're going to go to flows. Now we create a new flow. We're going to drag the screen element onto our flow canvas. We'll call this homepage image. And we want to drag from the left the display image lightning flow screen component. And we're going to call this the name of our image. So it's our candy beans image. And this is where we add our static resource name. We can also decide if we want it to be centered and the size. Let's get rid of our frame, like our header and our footer, because we don't need our users to have navigation here. We need to connect it to the start with the connector and save our flow. When we save it, we want to save it something very descriptive like homepage image. We're going to select a screen flow because this is going to be presenting a screen. Now, when we go back to our flows, we're going to, we have to click back and then click into our flow and click activate to activate this flow. Then we can add it to our page. So this is a great way to start to think about, you know, things that you can present to your users. So we go back to our homepage. Let's go to edit page. And when we edit the page, we're going to drag the standard flow component onto the page. Now, when we have the standard flow component on the page, any screen flow that is activated will be available. So we want to make sure we select the right one, homepage image, save and activate. Now, when we go back to our homepage, we've got our brand new image presented right on the homepage. And there we go. We just built our own new lighting component with no code, no code coverage, no need to outsource that work. And this is just a really simple use case, but it's great to start thinking about how can you use flow screens to surface information to your users and to use some of those really cool lightning fields that are available in your flow screen. So to learn more about flow, one thing to do today is to listen to this great podcast with the product manager for flow, Shannon Hale, um, on our own admins podcast, and the link is below. That's all for today. I hope you have fun building awesome screens in flow, and I will see you next time.